there's different treatments for it. Uh, the first treatment is medical, where we can inject those keloids with a steroid, and that's given like every three weeks for maybe three different injections, and that can shrink it. Never goes away completely, but another treatment is surgical to actually remove it. And so then your question would be, well, if you remove a keloid, will come back? And will I get another one in its place? <laughs> right. And, and the answer is, while well, your chances are higher if it's in an area that, like a joint. So a lot of people get keloids on their shoulders or any joint area that moves a lot. So what we do when we cut those out is we actually inject the steroid right away. Uh, there's other things that we can help try to prevent it from growing back, which includes some silicon pads and other types of dressings. So um, there are ways of getting rid of these really ugly keloids. It's a um, it's an abnormality. It's almost genetic in a lot of people where all the family members get these bad scars. So, but it, it's it's more uh, cosmetic than it is True. dangerous, right? Right, and no keloid will turn into cancer. Okay, right. So that's a good thing to note that's as well. That's a good thing. All right. So lesions. Right, and so. Everybody walks around with some lesions somewhere. Oh, we all have them. Yeah, that's right. And that's just Scott a matter of... but the rest of us do. <laughs> and it's just a matter of, I want you to know that at Woodlawn Hospital, we can take care of those lesions. And uh, you shouldn't feel bad, like, oh, you know, it's all right. I, but uh, it should, it's, everybody's, um, to feel good, they should have those off. And once in a while, they are cancer, but I'm being honest. We all know that a lot of these lesions have been there for 10 years or so, and, and they're not cancer, but uh, they everybody has a chance to have those removed. And the, the reason I'm here talking about that is it's a minimal procedure. Okay. A little numbing solution. We cut those off, put it back together nice, and you can barely see it. Are there creams or ointments or anything that we can use as opposed to having a cut off? Well, it depends what type of lesion you're talking okay. about. Anything that's so there are different types, right? So anything that's kind of raised above the skin, the creams really don't work. Uh, the well, what people would consider like old age spots or brownings, those kind of things can be taken care of with high intensity uh, phototherapy, and uh, so not always surgery. Okay, and, and uh, so so folks would have a choice in terms of how they wanted to deal with them. Yes. Okay. But basically, uh, my motivation factor to the viewers today is if you have a big lesion that's on your nose or on your forehead, there's no reason to walk around with that. We can easily take that off in 15 minutes. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Doesn't just take a long. very simple yep. procedure in and out. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Just a, just a matter of talking with you about right. what we need to do. Let's get into the cancers then because that's a little more dangerous situation. Yes. And I'm going to simplify it by saying there's basically three types of cancer basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Now, everybody's probably heard about melanoma. Absolutely. That's that's the bad stuff. That's the really dark uh, skin lesions. And melanoma can go from its spot on the skin, and the cells can go all the way to a different part of the body, even the brain and things like that. So it can metastasize, which is a really bad thing. And melanoma can kill people. So if you have a really black, uh, lesion on your skin, anything that's changing, bleeding, you have to be very careful. And it's unbelievable how many people get melanoma. And it's even in weird spots, like on, on your nail, your toenail. It can, it can also occur well on, your, on your anus. So there's really uh, different areas uh, and different places that it can occur. What should I be looking for before I come in or when I come in to get myself tested for the, the skin cancers? Yes. Uh, basically, most people who come in say, hey, I have this, this skin lesion that's getting bigger in size. And then the next thing they'll say is, well, it's really itchy and it bleeds a lot. So a change in color, increase in size, and those can be one of those three cancers. So what do you do then? So what we do is almost like what we talk about those lesions. Um, We numb them up and take them off, and it only takes 15 minutes or so. The aggressiveness of the surgery sometimes depends on what I think it is. Basal cell carcinoma is the first type and the simplest. Uh, They don't the least dangerous. The least dangerous, and they don't they do not metastasize anywhere. So we don't have to have as big of a margin as taking those out. 
Okay. And how do we do that? And how we do that is we use a numbing solution. We numb up the lesion. We take a scalpel, cut it out completely. It gets sent to the pathologist to confirm what's being taken out. And then sutures are used to close the wound. So do we know beforehand which type of the skin cancer uh, we might have, or do we do we have to test for that first? We, we, we don't have to test for it okay. first, but someone who's been in the business a long time and seen a lot of them, I have a very good high percentage of saying, oh, that's a basal cell or that's a melanoma. Melanomas are a little easier to say uh, what they are because how dark and black they are. Now, when we started this conversation, you mentioned three types. Mm-hmm. Basal cell, okay. squamous cell. Okay, what's that? Now, squamous cell is like halfway in between. It it spreads, but it spreads regionally, mostly through the nerves, but it never goes from one spot, jumps like a melanoma somewhere else. It just spreads, and uh, it's a more aggressive. Okay. And we, I see a squamous cell carcinoma in the office once a week. I mean, they're quite common. Is it as dangerous as the melanoma? It is not as dangerous on the skin okay. as it is on the internal surface of your body, the mucosal membranes inside your mouth and things like that. But it does, it is halfway in between of a basal cell, which is really not a big issue, and the melanoma that can kill you. Okay. So it is, a, it is an issue. If you have the melanoma, let's say, or you have the, the severe kind of the skin cancer, what kind of treatment can be done? I mean, obviously removing it would be the first step? Correct. And if those type of melanoma or squamous cell goes to another organ because it's spread so far, uh, then an oncologist, a cancer doctor, will help you out with radiation treatment, usually sometimes chemotherapy. Okay, so we, we kind of move on from uh, the surgery part of it to the, the cancer care part of it. Yes. Okay. The... Melanomas, the skin cancers, we always hear about protecting our skin when we're outside and that kind of thing. So I suppose that goes without saying, right? Absolutely. And uh, that's, uh, in for general, good skin care. Even if you didn't have lesions, it's, it's good to put on lotions and suntan lotions. Talk with us about that for a minute. What, uh, what kinds and uh, what, what lotions maybe do better than other lotions do? Well, I wouldn't say any particular brand name, right. but... Um, Anything uh, with uh, the coverage of 30 to 50 uh, power, you can see that over the counter when you go to the pharmacy, uh, will usually do the job. Okay, we uh, use that uh, summer, winter, whatever. I mean, yes, it actually, <laughs> you actually should did. be using it all the time. Yeah, Most people don't, but you should. People think about it when the sun is out, but right. you can still get effects from the sun if it's a cloudy day. Absolutely. Okay. So I, I take a look at this, and I see that, uh, uh, you know, I've got, got this mass or whatever, and then basically I'm just going to come see you and have you uh, take a look at it, right? That's right. And the insurance companies most likely will pay for it. Okay. I, through 20 years of surgery, I've never seen ever the insurance company said, oh, no, we're not paying for that. We're taking that off. Well, they, they probably has to as a first step, right, be taken off. Right. Because okay. the insurance company knows that if you ignore it, their costs will be so much more. So, right. in the end, Dr. Keith Thome is our guest. He is a general surgeon at Woodlawn Hospital. Where are you located? On the second floor, RSS, okay. uh, Rochester Surgical Services, here at Woodlawn Hospital. Okay, we've talked about uh, two or three different things today. And of all the things that we've discussed, uh, the probably the worst part of it's the melanomas. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is if you have any question at all, get it checked out. That's right, it's very simple. And it shouldn't be scary. And uh, do it for yourself. Do it for your family. And just come on in. You know, we, it seems like we pay a lot more attention to our skin in terms of the sunlight and in terms of the sun now than what we used to maybe 30 or 40 years ago. Have you noticed that? Yes, people do. And even when you do wear suntan lotion things, you still genetically sometimes can't stop these lesions from forming. That's a good point. And, and how does the genetics enter, in, enter, enter into it then? Well, we all know uh, family members or other people, other families where everybody in the family has skin tags. And it's the same thing. Uh, uh, genetically, we can't stop those portions of the DNA right. that want to form these things. But to say my grandfather was out in the sun a lot wouldn't necessarily mean that it's so a he, genetic 
Right, that he thing. would actually get it. Right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. Doctor, have we pretty well covered it? Anything else you'd like to add this morning? No. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, call Woodlawn Hospital, the surgical service, and we'll answer any questions you have. Appreciate your time. Thank you very All much. Right. Good Thank information you very much. today. Great. You bet. Great to be with you.